guys, it's Sarah here today with Grassroots Evolution. It's December 7th. Um, what I'm here to do is bring a reading for water signs. So if you are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or if you have water in your chart, this may resonate. So I'm going to be using the Guardian Tarot as well as the Zombie Tarot today to bring you um, a message from Spirit on um, some weekly guidance for the week of December 9th through the 16th. Okay, so just keep in mess after that, keep in messages. Keep in mind, guys, this is general. It may not resonate and fit your situation. Take the bits that do, disregard the bits that don't. Also, I just want to say, these readings are not time-specific, even though it's like this is when I'm picking the energy up. But time is fluid, so um, you may be resonating with this now. It may be something that, you know, there's something from a few months ago that could even resonate. You know, excuse me. Uh, there's some energy moving. Um, anyway, so guys, I am also a fellow uh, water sign. I am on the cusp of Gemini and uh, Cancer, so I always like to, to kind of represent um, what I'm doing that just also because I don't want to put my skew onto it, I guess, but I resonate as well with a lot of the watery energy, okay? So I'm going to first off ask Archangel Michael and Metatron to guard and bless this reading as well as any of you who would ask for it. And just remember, at any point, if you want their presence in your life, ask for it. They're always here to help. And my team of light, please join me. I'd like to be used as the clearest channel possible for any of you. And just remember, if this does resonate, it's up to you and your free will on how you implement the guidance, what choices you make, because that is what power we have in our life. The choices that we make and the actions that we put forward, okay? So, oh, woo! <laughs> Guys, I'm a little bit... Uh, a little bit raw today and unfiltered with you guys so maybe this is really like I've been doing a lot openness right it seems to be the, the theme for the month here with me and my channel is openness so I'm, I'm being a little too open water signs we have a, an ability to do that we are fluid so maybe we just need to tone it down a little bit um, if you if always important to think before we and breathe before we speak. So two messages that hit the floor. Let's see what they are. The sun. So you have hit success. This is the best card that, you know, this is a great card to get. And we've got the eight of wands here. And this is, um, you're successful in walking away from situations that have burned you down. And, you know, moving through new cycles and new growth and new passion. Right, the Eight of Wands. I'm going to just do a quick little book read on that for you. Although I open straight up to the sun. So, um, this could also be that you may want to do some sun healing, water signs. What I like to do, and if you've watched some of my videos, you may have heard me say this before. But if the sun is shining, A, get out in it. We need our vitamin D. But um, also, sometimes I like to go out and request consciously in my grounded state, you know, that the sun burn away kind of any energy that uh, may be blocking my energy field and kind of um, kind of getting in the way of my desires too and my healing. The sun is a very, very, um, you know, it's an energy giving life source, but I feel like it doesn't get enough credit for the healing abilities that it has. So really maybe this might be something, harness those, those uh, sun energies, get out in the sunlight. Um, you know, summer, winter solstice, not summer solstice, but winter solstice is coming up um, pretty soon. You know, there isn't that much time of the sun during the day right now. And I mean, the weather where I'm from, um, I'm in Ontario, Canada, it's it's been kind of overcast a lot. You know, yucky, not so nice weather. So when you get the sun, go out and enjoy that. And the Eight of Wands, okay. A little rainbow. Okay, so this guardian, I'm going to hold it up so you can look. Sorry about the glare, oh my gosh. Okay, so this guardian calls for one to honor the higher self. Allow the messages to transcend into the consciousness. The trinity rises overhead with the goddess, arms gracefully holding. Reminds us to bring all aspects of ourselves together to be unified, sacred unto ourselves. So... This is definitely, um, as we heal and as we we are unified and honoring our sacred selves, 
you can't stop us, right? What, um, honor your emotions as well, you know, honor your, your passions, honor the things that start a fire in you, water signs, you know, be truthful there with yourself so that you can, you can have that success, okay? As this card appears in a reading, it is important to honor the guidance from simply listening to your instincts, your inner voice, and to always honor all aspects of the self. Every facet of one's personality, experience, and desires has importance, value, and love. So, you know, um, this was in the upright, so great. We are we're doing awesome right we're successful in really honoring our true selves here um there may have been times in all of our lives where you know we've changed ourselves to fit in in certain crowds or to feel more accepted and that definitely alienated us so what i'm hearing is choosing to honor yourself has really brought the sun and has really brought success for you okay so we're going to get a few more messages here. Thank you. So the hermit. This is also, you know, maybe we've had, um, I know myself, but maybe you. There may be a situation that, you know, to bring this success and to be able to honor yourselves, it really took some, some time to look within, right? To honor that higher knowledge, that higher wisdom of the, the communication of up above, right? This could also be, you know... Getting in touch with your spirituality means taking a long look in that mirror. Um, almost in hibernation here, right? Because he's sitting quietly contemplating, connected to spirit, and his, his water self, his emotional body is over here. And this higher self isn't connected to your emotional body as much, right? It's connected to the mental space. And a lot of times these two things are really conflicting. It's the space in between to honor because honoring that space in between gives you the success, right? Allow your, us, we're so full of emotion, water signs, but allow these, um, these emotions to really fill you up and branch out to where that they lead you because this is also really honoring ourselves and acknowledging you know the head the heart tell me anything else please spirit for this hermit energy thank you okay so maybe it's um you gotta work through some fears this is the nine of oh it's running away from me but the nine of swords right you can see through this this shattered his hands there's all these wolves in here but these are figments and dreams of his imagination they're scary you know um i know myself i had a lot of wolf nightmares or dreams growing up i feel like more it's just like i was born to run with the wolves but as a little kid you don't know that and they felt so real you know and our fears can do that <laughs> our fears our shadows they feel so real but you have power over those and we have power in our day-to-day -day choices, right? Of rather than choosing fear to, you know, take those breaths and believe in ourselves and take calm, collected steps forward rather than getting so bogged down we don't know what to do. Water is one of these interesting things and I'm just being called to say this is that you know, yeah, it's awesome. We can move things on it. Things can flow. It's buoyant, fluid. If you allow and work with the water, you can float. You can do so many things. If you fight against it, it's heavy as heck, okay? Don't, don't let those emotions weigh heavy on you. That's something. Don't let them get so, so caught up in fear. Move past that, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Thank you. Two things. So judgment, and it was in the reverse with the Six of Pentacles. So it could just be that, you know, a lot of times in the past, judgments haven't went our way. This could be legally for some of you as well, and this could be getting over your fear and worrying whether or not the judgment's going to go in your favor because we've got the Six of Pentacles here really being um, grounded and comfortable, right, in the simplicities of life. This judgment in reverse, I want to get some clarifiers 
for the Judgment in Reverse. Why are you there? After this Nine of Swords. Four of Cups, right? You know how you need to get forward. I feel like it's just maybe you, you maybe you've had in the past, you feel like you've lacked that emotional strength to go forward. But if you want to get to this grounded place again, excuse me, my nose is itchy. Um, but if you want to get to that grounded place again, you have to own up to where um, this this guardian has a, a map, right, for what he wants to get in his ship and go to. You have to honor what that says. So don't be afraid of judgment. I, I feel like judgment, fear and judgment, they're devil energies. We have the ability to conquer that with our choices, right? So that's what I'm going to say there. <laughs> the bottom of the deck, though, is the Ace of Pentacles. So when you are willing to take that time, work through any fears that you feel internally that are going to cause you to not be of sound judgment and not see that this sun is burning bright for you, baby. And, you know, you have it all in your arms. you got the whole world in your hands. And it's up to you what to do with that, okay? Because if you, you want to your truths and get over your fears, you get a new start. Okay, so I want to do one quick message from the zombie tarot because we get some different messages on, um, oh, woo, there we go. Aha, page of swords. So this could be some of the guidance that to, to move through this is that maybe we need to take those first steps into a communication. Um, maybe this could be what your nine of swords is. Fear. A lot of us are scared when it comes down to what are people going to say because we don't know how what we should do and we don't always respond in the nicest ways, right? This page is a little bit immature as well. But if you notice the butterflies behind her, this is all about transformation. Taking those quiet steps. She does have, because it's a zombie troll, she's a little guarded. So with these, with these um, fears, right, when you're going towards what you want for your heart space, the reason why we may fear the judgment's not going in our favor to get what we want, sometimes we get in our own way. When we want to start this kind of new communication, be open, okay? Tell me about the Page of Swords here with this. And guys, again, this is where it goes in your free will, right? What you do with whatever this is, because it may not resonate with you. And if it doesn't, I apologize. Hopefully something does, though. Um, it's the Five of Hazards here as well, and she's rummaging through the trash. You know, days aren't as good, things aren't as good, and she's really feeling pretty desolate here. Um, that's a choice as well, okay? Things are always going to be good or bad and easy or hard. It's all how we're looking at it, you know, at the end of the day. So maybe there's been, a, maybe we have to have some sort of communication about feeling like we have been left out in the cold. Maybe there's an issue where we need to talk about um, fives or changes, right? There's change in the material here as well. There may be a communication coming in about 